Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? This is Outdoors in 217. This is my part two to my tackle video. It's my rod and reel segment. I'll start off with this reel. It's a Fluger Satina 10 ball bearing 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, this is my first bait cast I'd ever uh, had. Now I start actually starting in, I've been fishing with my dad ever since I can remember. I've always had a passion for fishing, but once I got very serious and serious about fishing and made a real passion to me and a hobby, this is the first bait caster that I had owned, and I uh, got a big bird nest in there. And this bait caster uh, is very good for beginners. I mean, is like 60, 70 bucks. Uh, it's just good for beginners learning how to work them. You know, you'll tear it up a lot, so you want cheap one. I mean, I dropped it a few times. There's many backlashes that I can remember this thing. The breaking system is easy to learn on, and the breaking system is just easy to figure out. And uh, it's just a great reel for beginners to figure out how to work them. So I recommend this reel to beginners and uh, newcomers. Uh, my next bass, next rod and reel is my uh, uh, spinning reel. It's the Abu Garcia Cardinal 101. Uh, on there, I got that tube on there. I throw my tubes on this, my really light uh, baits. Um, mostly my light top water baits and these tubes. Or anything I'm gonna throw weightless. I'll pretty much I'll probably throw on here, which I'm not saying I don't throw weightless uh, lures on my bait casters, but I throw them on here too. And it's sitting on a Berkeley Cherrywood Graphite rod, and I think this rod and reel combo is pretty good, pretty good setup. Uh, I guess that's just another great rod. Nothing bad to say about it really. So, move on to my other uh, bait caster. It's Abel Garcia Black Max, uh, five ball bearing, 6.2 to one gear ratio, and Bass Pro Shops Graphite Series, six foot, uh, fast, fast action rod. Uh, I ordered this rod off of Bass Pro, and I bought the reel at uh, Big R. And this is like my, this is what I moved up to after I figured out the bait casting system. Bought a more expensive rod, Black Max. Abel Garcia Black Max. Are, Black Maxes are still good for beginners. Uh, the only thing really different about this rod is just the bearings, the gear ratio, and it's got a flipping switch right there. You turn it on, and there's a, it just pops right back out. You turn it off, and it'll just keep it down. So, um, but yeah, I like flipping on this reel. It's good flipping reel, pitching, doing pretty much all good around. You know, I got some mud on it from dropping it the other day like an idiot. And I have one of them horny toes on there I've been throwing lately. It's been working pretty good. And I only, I'm only going to show you one catfish reel. Um, I have two, but I'm only going to show you this one. This is Bass Pro Shops Cat Buster rod and reel combo. Very long rod, very heavy. Um, which is very heavy rod and reel. Uh, I prefer this. It's got the original line on there that it came with, and uh, the it uh, as stiff as this rod may seem, and is as uh, thick as it may seem, I mean, look how thick it is right there. It's a pretty thick rod. Uh, they're still very flexible. Uh, I caught a five pound channel cat the other day, breaking this rod in. It was the first catfish I caught on this rod. And it was only a five pound channel, and he didn't really put up too big of a fight. But my tip was about right here, just perfect C. So they're still, it's still a very flexible rod for as, uh, as stiff or as uh, thick and heavy action as it may be. But these are them liver hooks I was talking about my mustad. So you come out with a, with that shaft and it comes out like with two simple uh, J hooks pretty much. And this like I said it's like a safety pin. It just pops out. Maybe one hand. Or right, do this one hand. See it pops out like that with that little safety pin type deal. <clears throat> Is you take your liver and you just thread your liver on there and just keep lapping it and looping it over and just just really thread your liver on there good and then just pop that back down in there like that and then me and my buddy also figured it out I mean it, it, this will hold it perfectly in pond but we took some very some small twine and wrapped the after we got it all on there wrapped the liver around all the way around this safety pin right there and even through the hooks and it just holds it on there for ponds so catfish can't rip them off as easy in rivers with a small current it helps it from uh, getting torn off of there. So, yeah, liver hooks. Uh, the liver hooks work, work pretty good if you're using liver. 
Yeah, but you can't. You don't only have to use them for lure. I use them for uh, cut bait and shad and live bait, and just throw them through the mouth and up the tail. It holds them pretty good. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, second video of my second. Or th this is the third video of my channel. Uh, I give more videos out to you guys. I'm trying to do about it every week. I'm gonna start some like question and answer videos. Uh, feel free to leave me a message. Uh, drop a comment. Any questions you want to want me to ask or want to ask, I can answer for you as best as I can. Uh, you can tell me what's been working for you so far this summer, what your favorite reel is, favorite baits, anything. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll comment back. Um, just subscribe to me and hopefully, I, hopefully, you like this video. I know the quality is a little terrible. I'm using my iPhone for right now until I get my next paycheck and I'll upload to and I'll upgrade to a camera, HD camera. But uh, sorry for the quality, sound quality, and shakiness. Like I said. It's, using my iPhone right now so I hope you like this video and just feel free to comment leave me a message in my inbox and uh, always please subscribe thanks for watching stay tuned